CIA Director Bill Burns is in Israel. This comes as the Biden administration pushes to broker a ceasefire and hostage deal between Israel and Hamas. NBC's Bree Jackson joins us now from D.C. with a look at where things stand. Bree, good morning. Good morning, Dave, Danita. So the latest round of negotiations ended with a, uh, without a deal. Hamas is calling for an end to the war, while Israeli officials claim Hamas is not serious about reaching a truce. As hopes of a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war fade, fears of famine in Gaza grow. The head of the World Food Program issuing this dire warning. It's, it's horror. It's, you know, it, it's, it's so hard to look at and it's so hard to hear also. So uh, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so hoping that we can get a ceasefire and, and begin to, to feed these people. Today, Israel Defense Forces urged civilians in eastern Rafah to move toward humanitarian areas as Israeli officials signal military actions could soon begin in Rafah and the Gaza Strip. CIA Director William Burns is headed to Israel for continued ceasefire and hostage release negotiations. Some lawmakers blame Hamas for the ongoing crisis on the ground. Which is 100 percent the fault of Hamas. Just like every civilian casualty in Gaza is 100 percent the fault of Hamas. The only way to have permanent peace, economic development and the provision of basic services in the Gaza Strip is for Hamas to be excluded from political governance going forward. As the fighting continues, so do anti-war protests. Some of these protests have become very violent uh, and students, especially Jewish students, have the right to feel safe on a campus and they've gotten out of control. Uh, everybody has the right to protest peacefully. That's Prime Minister position. Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to resist international pressure to halt the war. And on Tuesday, President Biden is scheduled to make a speech on anti-Semitism during a Holocaust remembrance ceremony here in Washington, D.C. Danita? Well, Bree, what do we know about this evacuation order from Israel? So, Danita, the IDF says the evacuation uh, of parts of eastern Rafah is a limited scope operation. We're told that it affects about 100,000 people, but so far we don't know how long people will have to evacuate, and there are no details about how this could affect the flow of humanitarian aid into the area. All right, Bree Jackson reporting live from D.C. for us this morning. Thank you, Bree.